Packers fans everywhere are getting ready to hopefully get some revenge on the 49ers tomorrow, but there's nowhere you feel the excitement more than in Green Bay. And that's where Madeline O'Neill has more on a pep rally, bringing together fans from all over the world. Before doors even opened here at Johnsonville Tailgate Village, dozens of fans were lined up outside here, more than ready for tomorrow's game. The atmosphere, that's... You can just feel it right through your bones. It's not just the cold. These Packer fans feel in their bones. They're Packer fans. I mean, who's gonna, who else is going to stand out in the cold? It's the Packer spirit. I think we're going to do her. I don't know if the 49ers can handle the cold weather tomorrow. Enough to warm any fan's heart. It's like no other. I mean, everybody, we just love our Packers. That love goes a long way. They think I'm absolutely crazy. This fan came all the way from Newcastle, England. Everybody who knows me knows Green Bay. Everybody knows how passionate I am. You know how they say go big or go home? Here, you'll find both. All the glitter, everything you see here is what I did throughout the years. From big hats to big fans, all excited to have the advantage of playing at home. 49ers, they like the cold? I don't think so. It's freezing out here. Red jerseys stand out here, but 49ers fans from California say the green and gold are still welcoming. Oh yeah, they're okay. nice. Yeah, they're very nice. Uh, everybody's been offering his drinks and everything. Offering up some excitement. Former Packer players Sam Shields and Morgan Burnett greeted fans. They're going to need y'all support real loud tomorrow. There's one more thing these fans feel in their bones. We need to bring the title back to title town, and that's what we are here for, for the playoff game, the next game, and all the way to the big game. And we're going to win this year because I feel it in my bones. All the way to the big game. That's the hope of everyone here. In Green Bay, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News.